God bless you. Today, we're going to look at the end, where we are. The verses that are telling us exactly where we are right now, that are happening, are bearing us. So we know that the mark is here. Because there are those saying, yes, it is this. And there are those saying, no, it's not. Let's see what the Bible says. Let's go through a King James. I have a 1611. So we're going to go from my old 1611 King James. And we're also going to cross-reference with a Strong's Concordance Bible Dictionary. So we can see the original translation on specific words when this first all began. So then there will be no arguments on what we're doing and on what it says. For when we know it for ourselves, we cannot say, no, it's not, if it says, yes, it is. So are you ready to study with me? Open your Bible, please, to Revelations. And when you're in Revelations, come find chapter 18, verse 23. From Revelations 18, 23, it says, And the light of a candle shall shine no more at all in thee, and the voice of the bridegroom and of the bride sh shall be heard no more at all in thee, for thy merchants were the great men of the earth, for by thy sorceries were all nations deceived. Now it says these are rich merchants and they are the powerful men. Do we have rich merchants that are powerful in this time? Deceiving with sorceries? What is sorceries? Let's go have a look and see what we can find in the Greek. The word sorcery translates to the word pharmakia. The word pharmakia specifically means drugs, poisons, pharmacies. These are our words for the word pharmakia. And the rich merchants that are great men deceive with drugs, poisons, pharmacies. And all nations are deceived by drugs, poisons, pharmacies. There's one specific verse. Okay, let's continue. Revelation 13, please. So, from chap chapter 13 of Revelation in verses... 16 to 18. And where are we? Oh, I'm in the wrong book. That's 14. I need 13. Here we go. Finally found it. And he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. So he causeth them to receive a mark. Now, let's continue before we go into detail. We're going to go to Revelation 6, verse 2 specifically, and then we'll talk on this specific subject matter. Now, verse 2 in chapter 6. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given him unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Now, the word bow in this verse, in the original Greek, is toxon. And the word toxon means simplest piece of fabric. Its Strong's number is 5115. And if I go into the Latin Biblia Bible, the word for crown is corona. And on top of this, the numerology number for the word corona is 666. So the simplest piece of fabric and a corona is given to him to go conquering and to conquer. Now that's interesting because it's the whole world that we all live in, all live on, all having to do that, all having to stay away from each other, all having many losing jobs, losing homes, not having money, struggling and suffering. Let's go further into this. Let's keep going. So we know we have a number here. We know we have a simplest piece of fabric, but oh, maybe this is being misrepresented. 
let's go further. We're going to go have a look at Isaiah 25.7. Now in Isaiah in 25.7, so in chapter 25, verse 7, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering, cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. Now this specific chapter, although I've taken a verse, this is about the end time. If you carry on reading through it, you see all of this. This is the end. A face covering that is cast over all people. Not most, not some, all. And what does your day-to-day -day going out look like? Do you see many with it? So we know this isn't going to disappear. So we have that. And you're like, ah, but could this really be that? Let's have a look at Daniel. And the book of Daniel in chapter 2 verse 43 we have and whereas thou saw iron mixed with miry clay they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men but they shall not cleave one to another even as iron is not mixed with clay so trying to mix something with the seed of men but it does not mix you have a mark you have a number we have a special covering now what do we know about a certain thing that we have to take we've already got pharmacia drugs poisons pharmacies strong's concordance number 5331 so you can test check this in the strong's concordance bible dictionary don't take my word for it study for yourselves be diligent be like the Bereans study scripture now, what do we know that's in this special thing that everyone has to receive at the moment? What do we know that's happening in the laws in the world? So in Israel specifically, they've made it that your employment, you have to receive a certain something or you cannot work. If you can't work, you can't earn. And those that haven't received it, these shops cannot sell to them. And if a shop is caught selling to someone that hasn't received it, they're heavily fined. This is in Israel right now. You can check this on the news in Israel specifically. I'm not talking about national television. I'm talking about look up Israel news. Look at Israel news channels. Look at world news channels. Independent news channels. Not the big ones on your normal telly. So, and those have to have a special certificate or passport, as you may know. And many countries are now starting to adopt this system where I currently am. They're talking about bringing this in, that you have to have a certificate or a passport that you can enter into a place so you can buy. So you won't be able to enter to buy from a place unless you have it. You won't be able to work and earn money unless you have it. And what are some of the ingredients we know? There is a specific ingredient in it that's never ever been done before. And so it will be in the days of Noah. Think about this. This ingredient begins with the letter M. Its next letter is R. Then it's N. And finally A. Those four letters. Put them together. It's never been done before. And what does it do? It envelops over your... And it begins with a D, and then you have an N, and then an A. And it's to envelop over it and grow over it and change it by putting itself in it. And once it comes in, it doesn't come out. It's a permanent change. And what happened in the days of Noah? Everything was destroyed. But those chosen by God. Remember that. So focus on the Lord. Trust in Him. Or are you going to trust in man? I trust in the Lord. I trust in what he teaches and all that he provides and the peace, the love and the joy that he brings. Now, let's find more verses. So we've had Daniel. We've had Revelations. We've had some of Isaiah. But there's still more ingredients in this we haven't gone through. Let's take it further. Let's go back to Isaiah. But this time, we're going to go to Isaiah 14, verse 12. 
How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? So, name the devil is Lucifer. Now, I've noticed in the later translations of the Bible that are not King James, this name is not there. Only in the King James can I find it. In the older translations, you'll find the name of the devil is Lucifer. Now, there is an ingredient that is called Lucifer, and then the word race, with an S, as one word. You can look this up, and look up ingredient with that name, Lucifer, and race, as one word. Ingredient in a certain thing you have to receive. And you'll find information on that. Now, let's take this further, we're not done. We're going to go to Corinthians. We're going to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11, 14. So, in 2 Corinthians 11, 14. We have, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. You're probably thinking, well, what does that have to do with anything? Let's go find out what Lucifer and the word race is one word actually is it's a bioluminescent light it's the ingredient in it it's got his name but we're not done yet revelation 14 11 what does that warn us what does it tell us right and the smoke of their torment ascendeth Sendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day or night. Those who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name, receive the mark of his name. His name is there, O Lucifer. And this mark has his name in it, and it calls it race. Bioluminescent light. And there is so much information here. What do we do? Let's continue. Matthew twenty four twenty two, please. And in Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. For when shall... Hang on. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Now, you're probably thinking, well, flesh doesn't say life living things but flesh let's think that specific thing that envelops that we just not long spoke of changes inside you in a way i don't understand or know and upon that on top of it we know they want everyone to take a special type of chip and it's the chip's number that's important because its number is three sixes and it's so it can have biometric data, allow you to buy and sell with it, and have all your information as a digital passport. A chip that would be put in you. Make sense? On top of that, you can do your research on these things. You have a whole world where everyone has to cover like this. So you've got to cover like that. You've got to receive a mark if you want to buy or sell. You won't be able to work unless you had your certain something something so you can buy or sell. It changes. It's got his name in it. The word of this thing also has the number of it. What else do we have? Think about it. Are we seeing the signs coming into play? How long before this thing they're saying everyone has to have is everywhere? The stages are coming into place. Focus on God, not the world. Trust in Jesus. Pray to him to guide, strengthen and help you. I'm no importance. I'm just a man. I'm fallible. The Lord is not so pray and seek him. Seek and you shall find. Knock, the door be answered. Ask God to help you find the information, to study it and to learn it. Trust in the Lord. Whereas it was in the days of Noah. 
We are already at the point where kingdom is against kingdom and nation upon nation. From Matthew 24. We have pestilences. We have earthquakes in various places. Weather we've not seen. In extreme magnitudes everywhere upon the earth. There is a famine. Food is running out. And everything is being destroyed. There is chaos and mayhem. People are turning against one another. And truth is being thrown to the ground. There is much chaos. There is much coming. And much more still yet to come. We need to have perseverance. Brothers and sisters, stand strong in your faith. Trust in God. Keep building your relationship with God. Do not be deceived by this world. You know that we have Toxon and Pharmakia, the simplest fabric, and drugs, poisons and pharmacies. You know no one can buy or sell if they have a certain something, and that is coming. This is implemented. You have to remember things are done in stages. Things don't just all of a sudden appear. Are you watching? Are you studying? Are you learning? Praise the Lord in all you do. It's for glory to God that we do what we do. Love one another as Jesus loved you. Don't be dismayed. Don't fear that that kills the flesh. Fear he that kills flesh and soul in hell. Don't let the rich merchants deceive you with their sorceries, their drugs, poisons and pharmacies. It's in the Bible. You now can see it by cross-referencing the words to the original language. You have the Greek, you have the Hebrew, you have the Latin. The older versions of the Bible. Seeker 1611 King James. Spend time in prayer and fasting. Build a relationship with God. Don't be dismayed. Put away your televisions and your computer games and your music. That gets in the way of your time with the Lord. Let your joy be in being with God. Be separate from the world. Don't be drawn in by it. For the devil will always be there like a fisherman trying to reel you in with the bait to entice you to him. And the fishermen, as they reel, you get closer and closer to them. So don't take the bait. This book is the Bible. And it is real nourishment. It will teach you and it will fill you. The word of God is eternal life. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Trust in Jesus. Be baptized and receive the Holy Spirit. Follow all that Jesus commanded and taught. Love one another as yourselves. Love God with all your heart and trust in him. Don't be dismayed by these things, for you can see the signs. We have the covering. We have the being able to buy or sell. Receiving something, and it's compelling everyone to receive it. It says, rich or poor, great and small, free and bond alike. Everyone is being told to have this. Not some people, everyone. It's on here for the entire planet. And just for some... You've got the ingredient with the name of the beast. It's even a bioluminescent light. And how many verses can I cross-reference to this? The Lord put it all there for us. God reveals to his children that seek his wisdom. Pray for wisdom, understanding and discernment. Let him guide you in all things. I pray this has been a good study to help you. To show you these things. God bless everyone here. Praise be to God.